Hey ChatGPT, I'm recording a math video right now. Can you please give me a hard exponential equation? But well, that's actually solvable with logarithm. Absolutely. Here's a tough but doable one. Solve the equation 3 times 2x equals 4 times 3. Taking the logarithm of both sides will let you isolate x and solve it. Okay, I got this. Thanks. You got it. Good luck with your recording. Alright, so this is the one that ChatGPT gave us. Let's solve it. It's not so bad though. Firstly, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to look at this as 3 squared and then to the x power. And I'm going to break this down as 4 to the x times 4 to the third power because of the rule of exponents. Right? For this one, we can multiply the powers and we get that. And for this one, we can just break it apart. If we multiply, we just add this. So this right here is 9 to the x. It's equal to 4 to the x times 4 to the third power is 64. Now check this out. I'm just going to divide both sides by 4 to the x. So that way we can put all the terms with x on one side. And of course this is 9 to the 0, so this is totally okay. And then this right here becomes 9 over 4 raised to the x power. And on the right hand side we have 64. Now we can just take log with this base, which is 9 over 4, and do that to the other side as well. So as you can see, this and that will cancel, and then we'll just get x. It's equal to log base 9 over 4, and then the input is 64. And that's pretty much it. Not bad. It's a very standard pre-calculus question that you have to know how to solve. However, I think this right here might not be the way that you will be exposed to how to solve the equation. I think this is a more of the standard textbook way, so let me show you that as well. So start with 3 to the 2x power being equal to 4 to the x plus 3. If you have x in the exponent, you can just proceed by taking a log on both sides. But which log though? Log base what? In here, it doesn't really matter. I don't know if I should do log 3 or log 4. Let's just be fair. Let's use the common log on the calculator, which is just log base 10. So that way we can put the power to the front, like so. So we get 2x times log of 3 is equal to x plus 3 times log of 4. Now this is just a number, and then we have a number times that, so just distribute that. So we get 2x log 3 is equal to x times log 4 and then plus 3 log 4, like so. And then move this to the other side, we will have 2x log 3 minus x log 4, and that's equal to 3 log 4. Finally, factor out the x, and then we have this right here. And then we can just divide this to both sides, and then we'll be done. So x is equal to 3 log of 4 over that, which is 2 log of 3 minus log of 4. I think this is more of a standard approach to solve these kind of questions. And if you would like to have something for fun, I will show you how to write this into that right here. So firstly, we use the change of base formula. This is equal to log of 64 and this is just log base 10. Over log, they have to be the same base. If you want to use natural log, just make sure they are both natural logs. And then the bottom is 9 over 4. Yeah. And then break it apart. Here, this right here is the same as log. For 64, it's the same as 4 to the third power. And then for this right here, because we have a division instead of the log, we can break it apart, making it into log of 9, which is the same as 3 squared, and then minus another log, and then we have 4, which is the same as, well, we can write it as like 2 squared, but I'm just going to keep it with 4. Then we can bring the power to the front, bring this power to the front, and ladies and gentlemen, we have the same answer. 3 log of 4 over 2 log of 3 minus log of 4. 